The ultimate adventure in yachting is traveling the world, to go anywhere at any time. This expedition yacht can do just that. This is the Canteria del Marque Darwin 86, Stella del Norte. 86 feet long, a beam of almost 25 feet, and she weighs 195 tons. She's the highest spec Darwin 86 ever built, with over $1 million in additional options and upgrades. Four staterooms, six heads, including two day heads, and room for five crew. We're going to take you on a full walkthrough, starting at the aft section of the boat. Stairways on both sides lead down to a large teak swim platform. In the center, an OPAC Mare carbon fiber lift raises and lowers to provide a beach with five integrated steps leading down. A few steps up from there is the lower aft deck. This is one of three exterior dining areas. You'll find seating around a large teak table with a comfortable bench behind. On the port side is a sink with Vitrifrigo fridge and ice maker. Let's move up to the bridge deck aft. A quick note while we continue. All the teak on the boat is 18 millimeters thick, which is well above standard. Here's the second exterior dining area. Another beautiful teak table Behind that is an electrohydraulic OPAC Mare crane with a maximum load of 1.2 tons and a maximum reach of 20 feet. All the way aft is a sunbathing area when the tender is in the water. Also on this deck is a sink, Miele two burner cooktop, Vitrifrigo fridge and ice maker, as well as storage. Let's move up to the flybridge. Every place you can sit on the flybridge has storage underneath. This includes that massive sun pad and all storage compartments are ventilated to reduce moisture. There are also sails for the flybridge and bridge deck aft for added sun protection. There's also a shower up here to cool you down even more. The port side has another dining table with leaves that fold in and out, as well as a forward-facing seat. While the starboard side has a Weber gas grill, Miele two burner cooktop, a sink, Vitrifrigo fridge and ice maker, and additional storage. All the way forward is your upper helm station, fitted with a Furuno 15-inch touchscreen display, GPS, chart plotter, radar, zero-speed stabilizer controls, bow and stern thruster, and a FLIR military-grade night vision camera. At seven knots, Stella del Nord has an incredible range of 8,750 nautical miles. That's at 1,000 RPM, 35% load, and only burning six gallons per hour. Her best cruise is nine and a half knots, which gives you a range of 7,200 nautical miles. That's at 1,200 RPM, 45% load, and burning 12 gallons an hour. Powered by Caterpillar C12 heavy B-rated diesels, they provide 385 horsepower each. She has a total of three Kohler generators, two 55 kWs and one 17.5 kW night generator. All that power would be no good without an AC power converter. This allows her to hook up anywhere on the planet. She also has two water makers that combine to produce 1,900 gallons a day. Now let's take a walk through her interior. As we enter the salon on the main deck through the watertight door, you'll notice there's no carpet. The entire yacht has vertically hand-laid mahogany wood floors, which are contrasted by the light elm cabinetry. The starboard side of the salon has plenty of this elm woodwork for storage. It also has these lovely poltrona fra chairs to relax in. Also on the starboard side, is a pop-up 60-inch Samsung TV, which can be enjoyed on the custom L-shaped Italian sofa to port. Just forward on the starboard side is a marble top bar with more storage and a Miele wine cooler. Across from that on the port side is a Poltrona Fra dining set with seating for up to eight. All the cutlery and glassware you see here each have their own custom fitted storage locations within the Elm cabinets for safe travel. Just forward on the starboard side is access to the lower staterooms and a day head with stainless steel features and more beautiful elm wood. We move down the steps and head aft into the full beam master stateroom. The master has an office desk to port, king size bed with storage underneath, elm storage cabinets aft with a 55 inch Samsung TV, and your ensuite head is on the starboard side through frosted sliding glass doors. The toilet and bidet is aft, while your full shower with bench seat is forward. Coming out of the master and heading to the starboard side, we arrive in the first guest stateroom. Side-by-side -side berths with a Pullman berth overhead and an ensuite head and shower. Directly across from that is a symmetrical second guest stateroom 
with identical amenities to the one we just saw. We move from here and continue forward into the VIP stateroom. Queen size bed with again storage underneath and more storage in the Elm cabinetry on the port side with 42 inch Samsung TV. The ensuite head and shower are located on the starboard side. We're now back on the main deck heading forward from the salon. On the port side, we find the fully equipped galley, all melee appliances, including oven, broiler, microwave, dishwasher, six burner cooktop, and full size fridge and freezer. Across from the galley is the crew mess, where you'll find the melee washer dryer and additional melee fridge and freezers, crucial for long distance cruising. Continuing forward, we find another melee wine cooler here on the port side, and further forward are the crew quarters. The port side cabin has over under berths and a very large ensuite head with rainfall shower. Across from this is another crew cabin with similar size and features. We're back in the hallway headed forward. That stairwell there is a crew access to the bow, which can be found underneath the bow sun pad. We now head up the well-lit staircase to the pilot house. Here we have four Furuno 19-inch touchscreen displays with GPS, chart plotter, radar, everything you're going to need while navigating the five oceans. Two electronic Bezanzoni chairs finished with hand-stitched Italian blue leather complement a gorgeous high-gloss helm wheel. Moving aft from the pilot house, we enter the Sky Lounge. You can imagine this to be one of the best places to relax while underway. It's hard to miss that pop-up 60-inch Samsung when we first came in. And if you aren't interested in the movie, you can find Adventures on the page on this bookshelf forward. And there's another Miele wine cooler here, making a total of three on the boat. One more special feature can be found in this area. Of course, we have wing stations on either side for docking, but there's also a day head here that can be accessed from the side deck. Great for guests or a captain who doesn't want to stray too far from the helm. One of the vital components to the design of an expedition yacht is storage, and Stella Del Nord has it, like here below the VIP stateroom. As you can see, this is no small space. Or up at the bow, near the anchor, a compartment so large you have to use a ladder to get down inside. We don't want to waste your time by going through every minute aspect of the boat, but it's the details that make the difference. For instance, all the anchoring and mooring lockers are painted with all grip to reduce corrosion. There's even a chain wash system for the anchor chain itself. There's a custom Ironox fresh water maker in the crew mess that even makes its own sparkling water. Her hull has an ultrasonic anti-fouling system which removes excessive sea growth. She has an anti-piracy system and even a motion activated alarm in the pilot house that alerts the owner if the area is empty for too long. These are the aspects that make Stella Del Nord one of the most incredible expedition yachts currently available on the market today. If you'd like more information, or if you want to get on board and see her for yourself, please feel free to contact us.